Friends, in today's video we will see, how to identify RTD, thermocouple, when we are working in instrumentation. We should know, the difference between RTD, and, thermocouple. Today, we are going to discuss some RTD, and, thermocouple main differences. Friends, RTD, thermocouple are temperature sensors, and, are most commonly used in temperature measurement. So, watch the video till the end. Don't skip at all. Today, we will also see, what should the output signal of temperature be taken? Look friends, RTD, and, thermocouple look similar from outside. Looking at them from the cap, you will not be able to recognize them easily. Also you will not be able to identify which one is RTD, and, which one is thermocouple from this image? One method to identify RTD, and, thermocouple is that. You can identify them, by looking at the tag. RTD is written, on the tag of RTD. And, thermocouple, and, its type are written on the tag of thermocouple. Friends, sometimes the tag gets removed from the RTD thermocouple. So to identify them, you have to open the outer cover. When you will open the cover, you will find that. There are three wires in RTD, or, there is a pair of three wires. Whereas, thermocouple has two wires, or, pair of two wires. Look friends, RTD is shown on the left, and, thermocouple is shown on the right. Here you have to keep one thing in mind that single three wire and two wire are called simplex. And when these are in pair, these are called duplex. Meaning, when RTD has only three wires, then it is called simplex RTD. And when RTD has a pair of three wires, then it is called duplex RTD. Similarly, when, there are only two wires in the thermocouple. Then, it is called simplex thermocouple. And, when thermocouple has a pair of two wires. Then it is called duplex thermocouple. Now, you can easily tell about simplex, and, duplex in interviews. And, also you can recognize in the field, which one is, simplex RTD. Which one is, duplex RTD? Which one is, simplex thermocouple? Which one is, duplex thermocouple? Apart from this, RTD provide more accuracy than thermocouple. And, friends, if we talk about temperature range, thermocouples measure over wide temperature range. So these were some comparisons between RTD and thermocouples. Let's go ahead and see that, what is the output of temperature measurement? Many people have this doubt that, when temperature measurement is done, what will be its output? Sometimes, this is taken in ohms. Sometimes, it is taken in milliamperes, and, sometimes, it is taken in millivolts. Look friends, as we have discussed, for temperature measurement, Temperature sensors, RTD thermocouple are used. In instrumentation, there are three types of temperature output. Ohms, millivolts, and milliamperes. It's very simple to understand. Friends, when RTD is used as a temperature sensor, we get output in ohms, or resistance. Here, you can see, RTD is installed in the image. RTD detects the temperature, and, provides output in resistance. When, thermocouple is used as a temperature sensor. Then, we will get output in millivolts. Here, you can see, thermocouple is installed in the image. Like RTD, thermocouple also senses temperature and gives output in millivolts friends the main difference between rtd and thermocouple is that 
the output of RTD comes in resistance. And, the output of thermocouple comes in millivolts. This question is also asked in interviews. What is RTD and thermocouple output? Or, what is the main difference between them? Now, you can easily reply. Next is, milliampere's output. When, we use temperature transmitter along with temperature sensors. The output is in milliamperes. Here in the image, temperature transmitters are shown. RTD and thermocouples are also shown here. Look friends. For measurement through temperature transmitter. RTD thermocouple are used. RTD or thermocouple connections are done in the temperature transmitter. And then, the output of the temperature transmitter comes in milliamperes. Temperature transmitter has symbol of RTD and thermocouple. According to the same symbol, we make connections of RTD and thermocouple in temperature transmitters. In the connection ports of the temperature transmitter, there are connections for inputs at one side. And, there are connections of output at other side. For example, in this image, you can see that on the input side. Connections of 3 wire RTD will be made on terminals 1, 2 and 3. Thermocouple connections will be made on positive and negative. Some temperature transmitters also have connections for 4 wire RTD. So, you can also connect 4 wire RTD there. Let's talk about output. On the output side, you will get only positive and negative signs. 24 volts DC connections will also be on the output side. Because it is a two wire signal. The output of temperature transmitter is 4 to 20 milliamperes. These 4 to 20 milliamperes will be available according to transmitter range. The range of the temperature is written on the transmitter. For example, suppose the range of a temperature transmitter is 0 to 100 degrees Celsius. So it will give 4 milliamperes at 0 degrees Celsius. And 20 milliamperes will be the output at 100 degrees Celsius. You can also see the measured temperature on the display of some temperature transmitters. The display of this transmitter shows approximately 50 degrees Celsius. So its output will be 12 milliamperes. In this way, you can choose any range of temperature transmitter according to your applications. So friends, this was our today's video. Thanks for watching. Do like and share the video. Also, subscribe to our channel for more instrumentation related videos.